this video we want to look at partial function application. Now partial function application is a result of so-called currying. It is a principle that tells us the following. If we have a function that for example here takes three arguments and returns one value, we could rewrite this at, as the following. A function that only takes a single argument a and returns a new function that again only takes a single argument that returns a function that again only uh, has one argument and then returns the final result. So basically functions that have multiple arguments don't exist. Every function has only one argument and then returns maybe another function or an end result. So this currying can be used in order to rewrite functions. Let's say we have this add function that takes two ints and returns an int. Um, all of these three definitions are equivalent. Uh, writing it x plus y is fine, but we could abstract the uh, first layer with an anonymous function, or we could just abstract the whole thing with two anonymous functions. Now, this leads us to a funny result. Let's look at the last definition of add, where we define it as a function that uh, takes one argument x, which returns a function that takes one argument y, and that returns x plus y. What happens when we have a term like add one? Now, in another programming language, we would say, well, this function takes two arguments and only one is applied, so this is an error. But in Haskell, this isn't true, because add implicitly is a function that only takes one argument and then returns a new function. So what we get is a new function. What, it, what is its type? Well, its type, of course, is int to int because what we get back is the function um, which takes this y argument, which already has the definition of x replaced. Because now where before we had this free variable x, we now have the fixed variable 1. So this is a way of changing the behavior of a function and generating new functions from old functions. This is called partial function application and it's done all the time in functional programming. Let's look at map, because map is a prime candidate for such a thing. So, for example, if you want to have a new function, which we call double list, which uh, takes a list and then uh, multiplies every single element by two, we can do it like this, where we use the map function and do partial function application on this. Now, of course, what we get back from this is a function that still takes one list and returns another. And we save that new function in the double list function, which is why we don't need any argument for double list because it implicitly gets an argument.